this choreography by Yannick really suits the music. I'm really happy to bring this piece to life. I love having a cellist patient in the studio rehearsing with me. I really enjoy the process. Dancing to live music is so different from dancing to recorded music. Every time having him in the studio rehearsing, I get to feel this energy that he transfers and I really enjoy um, paying attention to that and the music that he plays because it's different every time and it's unique and also I think it's the beauty of live music and dancing to it, this yeah, freshness about it. So the piece is called The Light Behind Us, which is not something I came to by myself. It came from a discussion I had with Chok Karun, who's the composer for this piece. And it also was a challenging and a really fun way for me to make to orchestral work that has never been heard before. Because we are both kind of deciding at the same time how something will be seen or how something will be heard. I think that part's really different and that's been one of the most exciting parts of this for me, working with Karun. The, the most important thing that we wanted to have in this work was to have a sense of community and connection. Not necessarily just to touch her in all ways because I think that's something that we're we maybe all craving and missing a little bit. We wanted to uh, respectfully reference and be inspired by work and people that came before. Dance or music enthusiasts might hear things that sound familiar, which is absolutely in intentional. And then just to uh, also be open to where that can take us. There's a sense of conversation, a sense of connection with the audience, and it really drives me to perform. That sense of community after a performance, where you meet people who come to watch, and that's something I really miss, and I hope that we'll all be able to enjoy that once the restrictions are over. I think especially on the like creative side with Karun and Adrian and Joshua, it's been very pleasurable. I recognise that digital performances have their worth. They are a necessary replacement at times. I remember buying tickets for the performance and like it was just sold out really fast. And so now with the performance going digital, I hope that more, more of us, more people can come and watch the show.